Hi, it's Pastor Ann from Monroe Presbyterian Church, and I wanted to tell you what the story will be for this coming Sunday. We will be looking at a story from the book of Ruth. Last week, Ruth and Naomi set off for a new place, Naomi's hometown of Bethlehem. They were on their own, as no man was left in their life to protect them. And of course, this was important in this time. A third character will be introduced in the person of Boaz. Boaz is a relative to Naomi's dead husband. When they go to Bethlehem, they need protection, and in a sense, Boaz offers that, as Ruth gleans at the edges of Boaz's field, as people are allowed to do in the middle of their time of difficulty. Between Ruth and Naomi, there is a sense of loyal love that is extended from the time that they took off from the land of Moab and how they continue to live. Ruth is loyal to Naomi as she is the one who is willing to go and glean at the edge of the fields. Then they craft a story that involves courage. Naomi and Ruth realize that they cannot continue to rely, rely on just handouts and it is that Naomi helps Ruth understand that they can craft a new beginning if they involve Boaz. Ruth goes to a very difficult place, which is the threshing floor, to talk with Boaz about the possibility of them doing just that, of becoming, becoming husband and wife. Courage originates from the word heart in Latin, and we see how Ruth has a brave heart in this story. Boaz has a extended heart in this situation, and Naomi's heart is restored. Ruth and Boaz will marry. They will have another child, and that child will provide a new beginning for this what seemed like washed up family. Who is the Redeemer in this story is one that asks us an interesting question. We know that this story talks about new beginnings, and we see as the door is opened that there might be a new beginning for this family, and that this child that is born into this union has a place in Jesus's genealogy. Isn't that interesting? Join us for worship tomorrow.